in this module we will continue with our discussion on treatment of credit and credit cards in an islamic framework in the previous module we established or we argued that credit sales are permitted permitted in islam and we gave examples of ba muajjal ba salam and ba istisna so sales of istisna sales of salam sales of murabaha muajjal these are acceptable in islam we also argued that money can also be lent but without charging interest and we established the fact that different currencies can be exchanged but only on spot there might be some very awkward questions around this third point but we would not go into the technical details our focus is on credit and credit cards in this part of the course let us relook at the thing we said that this is a spot sale whereby the commodity the object of sale is delivered now in exchange for the price paid now this is a spot sale this is a base level sale contract in islam which is acceptable then we looked into the credit sale ba muajjal and we said ba muajjal is acceptable and in fact in case of ba muajjal it is quite possible for the seller to charge a higher price because the price is going to be paid on a future date so it is possible to charge a price p plus which is higher than p given that this is a credit sale let me repeat in credit sales it is possible for the seller to charge a higher price than the spot price of the commodity and this is acceptable in case of bas salam where the price is paid up front and the delivery of commodity takes place on a future date it is quite acceptable for the salam price to be lower than the prevailing market price and this is acceptable as well in an islamic economic framework now i'm i am referring to these examples because there is an implicit reference to credit and its treatment in these sales in case of ba istisna the price is paid progressively and this price p star can actually be different it can be higher or it can be lower than the prevailing market price of the item if it happens to be available in the market remember in case of istisna the item is manufactured is made over a certain time period and this could be a unique item however if similar kind of items are available in the market the price charged by the seller could be higher because the seller may say that i am coming up with a bespoke item for you hence i have to charge higher or in certain cases the seller might agree to a lower price because the cost of production could be lower for that seller now when it comes to exchanging money islamic law becomes very strict even on spot basis it is prohibited to exchange 10 dollars for more than 10 dollars even on spot can you give me an example of this kind of exchange whereby one person is giving you 1000 rupees and you are receiving only 900 rupees on spot 
आप हज़ार रुपया देते हैं इस हाथ से और नौ सौ रुपये ले लेते हैं उस पार्टी से दूसरे हाथ से कैन यू कम अप विद एन एग्जाम्पल यू माइट थिंक दैट दिस इज क्रेजी नो वन वुड एग्री टू दिस वन बट एक्चुअली दिस हैपन्स इन द मार्केट अराउंड ईद टाइम बहुत ज़्यादा लोग मार्केट में बैठे होते हैं नए नोट लेके वो अगर आप पचास पचास के सौ सौ रुपये के नए नोट उनसे लेंगे तो वो सौ रुपये के बदले आपसे पुराने एक सौ दस रुपये मांगेंगे दैट इज एक्चुअली प्रोहिबिटेड बिकॉज इवन ऑन स्पॉट दिस इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेड इन इस्लामिक लॉ नाउ इफ सम अमाउंट ऑफ डॉलर इज गिवन बाई पार्टी ए टू पार्टी बी नाउ इन एक्सचेंज फॉर अ हायर अमाउंट ऑफ डॉलर ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज एन इंटरेस्ट बेस्ड लोन दिस इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेड इन एन इस्लामिक लीगल फ्रेमवर्क एंड दिस रिमेन्स प्रोहिबिटेड इवन इफ द पेमेंट ऑफ द लोन इज इन इंस्टॉलमेंट सम मनी इज पेड एट टी वन सम मनी एट टी टू and so on but this would remain prohibited as long as dollar star or dollar plus is greater than dollar ie as long as unequal amounts of dollar are exchanged between the two parties now spot exchange is this example where a certain amount of dollars is exchanged for certain amount of rupees on spot now when it comes to spot currency exchange islam is slightly relaxed if the exchange rate today is 1 dollar is equal to 175 rupees for example and if i want to do a spot currency exchange today it is permitted for us to go for an exchange rate which is different from the market exchange rate so if i want to sell 1 dollar for 200 rupees to someone and that person is willing to pay 200 dollars then this is okay okay however the transaction should take place on spot so this is very very important now the a uh, sale or exchange where one amount in dollars is exchanged for uh, an amount in rupees to be paid later we have said this is not acceptable and of course even if the amount of rupees in future is paid over time this would remain prohibited as well so this is slightly more information about these exchanges than the previous module i want you to spend some time on these fundamental concepts so that you understand the treatment of islamic credit cards and treatment of risk later on in an islamic economic framework